My name is Alejandro Chavez Badiola and I'm a gynecologist with training in reproductive medicine at the largest IVF center in the UK. Okay. Uh, I started uh, writing scientific papers and uh, presenting in important meetings in the United States mainly while I was uh, a resident in gynecology. Then uh, when I moved to the UK for my training in, in IVF then I was uh, encouraged to start writing more seriously. And then I developed a special interest about endometriosis and how it affects IVF. Uh, so at the end we uh, published a very uh, comprehensive and important review on how to improve success rates for IVF patients who have endometriosis. Uh, following that I started traveling uh, looking for different ways, different philosophies and uh, trying to find again a better way to do IVF. In this way I ended up in New York and Tokyo where I learned in some about minimal stimulation and other new techniques that they have such as a very reliable uh, cryopreserving technique called vitrification with the cryotop method. So we started publishing about that uh, probably we have, or at least until last meeting in Barcelona, we had the largest uh, number of libraries in the world. So, a lot of publications about that. Uh, I've been invited to meetings all, all over the world every single month, uh, from uh, India to Greece. Uh, I went to the UK for, uh, to train people in the new techniques I'm, uh, I'm practicing at the moment. Uh, I've been in Argentina and the United States and probably last year uh, I was uh, responsible in practicing for around 400-500 IVF cycles. Regarding success rates, we believe that success rates in IVF should be measured as live births and not only pregnancies, uh, biochemical pregnancies. What we aim for is for our patients to go back home with healthy babies. But we have the advantage that we have uh, a state-of-the-art laboratory with embryologists from the United States that are considered among the best in the world. So uh, we can offer with minimal stimulation around 32% uh, pregnancy rate per starter cycle and around a 45% success rate with standard IVF. In Mexico, again, I think that most lab laboratories are average, uh, but I think this is what makes a difference with us. We have invested a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of money to have a lab that can be considered amongst the best in the world. We have the latest technology from assisted hatching with laser. We have the very best cryopreserving technique, the cryotop vitrification. We have the best equipment, but again, but again, equipment is not all. The people that is handling the equipment is probably the most important thing. So we rely on our experience and our expertise. As doctors, again, we are are uh, very well trained, we have a lot of experience and our scientists stay, um, they have the same standards. They come from the United States or they have been trained abroad. We offer to our patients two options uh, for IVF treatments. They can either stay here in Mexico for only one week or they can have their full treatment and surveillance here and this uh, is around two weeks. We are aware that a lot of our patients, couples, are very busy and they cannot commit two full weeks to traveling and being treated. So this is why we offer this shorter option. This is provided they can get a lab that could help them uh, sort some tests and ultrasounds uh, for the first days. So for the two weeks option, 
then we have to see them on the third day of the cycle, then they have around five days off, then we see them again on day eight. They have a cup. So if you want to have a holiday, go to one of the near beaches that are around here. So it would be very easy to travel. It's around one hour flight, two and a half hours driving to very nice Pacific beaches. So again, uh, this could be seen as a holiday and an IVF treatment. Okay. We have uh, an egg bank from Mexican donors and this is one of the options that we can offer. But also we are aware that some patients coming from abroad are very different to Latin uh, population and they might be looking uh, for donors that are much more like themselves. I'm not talking only about Americans but also about Asians, uh, about uh, Europeans and again uh, it's rather difficult to have such a large uh, egg bank here in Mexico. So we rely on an egg bank from the United States as well. So we can offer both options. Well, I had said the second largest city in Mexico is located in the west part of the country and it's considered probably among the uh, cities with the best weather. Very friendly people and very important. It's a very safe city at the moment. Uh, we are in a privileged location since we have uh, the largest lake in Mexico only 40 minutes away. and Canadians uh, living here after retirement. They live in a very beautiful place around half an hour from Guadalajara. It's a lake area. We have very good connections with inter international flights from major cities in Canada and the United States, such as LA, Vegas, Houston. And again, uh, we also have very good internal connections within Mexico, so it's very easy to travel around Mexico and go to holiday destinations within half an hour, two hours the most. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical treatment at world-class international hospitals. Fill out the estimate request form on our site for a free quote and more information.